Newton's Laws and Application of Newton's Laws. Grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the normal force. Now, we mentioned the normal force in the previous lesson, and what did we say about it? We said that normal force is a force exerted by a surface on an object in contact with it. So that's pretty easy, okay? In other words, if you look at this kid or person who is on a sled and the ground is horizontal, then, if we don't know anything else about this, we know that there are at least two forces acting on the, this object, which includes both the sled and the person. There is the force of gravity down towards the center of the Earth, and there is the normal force, which in this case is the force of the ground on the sled and person combined. What's also important to note is the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. In this case, if we look over here, we've got a tire. Okay, and the tire is on a horizontal piece of land. So again, we've got the force of gravity, which is the weight, and this time we've got the normal force, and which is the force of the ground on the tire, and it is again perpendicular. And here you can see a person that is skiing, and now they're skiing down a slope. And you will notice here that the normal force, which is the force of the surface on the person, is now at 90 degrees again. So this is pretty important because we're going to be using this in calculations. So let me show you an example. Here we've got a kid or a person on a sled again down a slope. Right, so what's important is to realize that the normal force we've said is always perpendicular to the surface, right? It's always perpendicular to the surface. But in previous examples like here, and here, the force of gravity and the normal force have always been exactly equal but opposite in direction, right? Because the ground has been horizontal. Here the ground is horizontal, and over here the ground is horizontal. But over here we have a slope. So I want you to think of the Earth as being kind of looking like that. Okay, and let's pretend that the slope is on the highest mountain ever. So if I draw the little highest mountain there, and this is the kid on this on this slope, then the force of gravity is always still towards the center of the Earth. So in other words, it doesn't matter if this is the slope, we are going to draw the force of gravity straight on. So when you're on a slope, the normal force is perpendicular to the surface as per usual, and this is F normal. But the force of gravity is down towards the center of the Earth. And in a few lessons time, we're going to show you how to work out what the normal force is and how it relates to this force of gravity. But all you need to know at the moment is that the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. And that's the normal force, people. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. That's it.